In today's list, you will not find any new anime to watch, especially if you're an old anime watcher. But if you are new, then you will find the best one out there. At number 6, we have To Love Rue. In this edgy school anime, our main character, Rito, is a shy boy, who attempts to confess his love to his crush since junior high and classmate Haruna Sirenji. Unfortunately, his situation becomes even more challenging when one night, a mysterious girl crash lands right on top of a bathing Rito. Furthermore, Rito is in more confusion when he discovers that this girl is the crown princess of an alien empire who left her home. Despite being a princess of a powerful planet, the girl is wanting to marry the timid Rito in order to avoid an unwanted political marriage. To Love Rue is an etchy anime that depicts Rito's daily struggles with the bizarre chaos that begins upon the arrival of a mysterious girl. Well, it has a special type of story behind it, but mostly focusing on etchy. However, once you understand the basics of the story, you kind of stop thinking about the etchy parts. But if you so choose to watch it just for the etchy parts, well, that's your choice. I personally really enjoy this series. It's got a lot of laughs, so it's worth watching just for that. At number 5, we have Monster Muzume. The story is quite simple. There is a new program implemented that allows fantasy beings to come to our world as some sort of exchange students. Our main character agrees to take in Mia, a Lamia. That means she is half human, half snake. She immediately falls in love with him, but the problem is that sexual relationships between humans and monsters are forbidden. Then slowly he gets to care for many more beautiful monsters that fight over him. Anyway, the story isn't original nor particularly interesting, but the comedy is done so well that it is easy to ignore the lack of a good story. The ending episode was, in my opinion, a bit weak as there was no meaningful conclusion. But at the same time, that hints towards a second season, which I am looking forward to. So many pretty anime girls, hot moments, and funny scenes are all included in this etchy anime that you will probably enjoy. And number four, we have Seki Rei. Our story begins with a ronin named Minato who's just failed to get into university for the second year in a row. As he's walking down the street, a girl, Musubi, falls on top of him, and she's being chased by lightning-hurling twins. She grabs Minato and runs. It turns out she's a Seki Rei, a being with superpowers that are fully activated by kissing and Ashikabi, which is the title for their masters and they fight each other to the death in a battle royale tournament with the winners getting to ascend into godhood. If you don't understand the plot, then let me tell you what I understand from this anime. A college dropout boy meets a cute boobalicious girl and proceeds to move into a dorm with other girls of different shapes and sizes, and also begins his quest after catching his first Sekirei to become a master or something. Oh, and what Sekirei means? It means that some hot alien chick has superpowers. Okay, that's all I got, so give me your opinion about this anime in the comment section down below. At number 3, we have High School of the Dead. The plot starts with the world suddenly amid a zombie apocalypse. People start turning into the undead. The entire social structure is experiencing a great demise as humans start feeding on each other. Takashi Kimuro is the protagonist of this anime. His friend unfortunately turns into a zombie. Takashi takes the harsh decision and kills his friend before he can harm anyone. He promises to protect the girlfriend of his friend. As they navigate through their school campus, they meet a bunch of other students and a school nurse. All of them are trying to escape the predicament. They decide to bundle up together and work as a team so that they can survive this apocalypse. If you have not watched this anime yet, then listening to the plot, you might be thinking this is super scary, dark, and is a horror anime. But to me, the story is super simple. Here are some opai, and here are some zombies. And here are two guys to enjoy and protect the opai. Pretty much sums it up. With a show like this, do you really need a complex plot? And now I have one question. Will we be able to see the second season of this anime? I still have not found the answer. At number two, we have High School DxD. Issei Yodo is your everyday pervert who wants to own a harem someday. He enjoys peeping on women. One day, he is asked by a girl. Unfortunately, the girl is a fallen angel who wants to kill Issei and is successful in doing so. End of story, right? Wait. Issei is then resurrected by Rias Grimori, a devil who makes him her servant. Now Issei must adjust to this new lifestyle and survive in the vicious world of devils and angels. This is one of those anime that keeps you laughing the whole way through, rooting for Issei to get his own harem out of death. Want to know more about this anime? Then just shut up and take a beer and enjoy the anime. Also, don't forget to lock that door. Do I need to say anything more? And number one goes to prison school. 
Five perverted, wait, 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 wait. Five perverted teenagers end up in a school full of girls. They peek into the girls' bath and get grounded into a prison set in the middle of the campus. These five guys are hilarious. One is a fat fuck. One is creepy as fuck. One is geeky as fuck. The girls in charge of them, aka the underground school council, bully them, torture them, insult them. This kind of treatment gives them boners. Honestly, the prison school is probably the most impressive ecchi manga I have ever seen. By impressive, I don't just mean that it's enjoyable, but rather that it accomplished something that I sincerely didn't believe was possible. It manages to tell a story with hilarious comedy and incredibly lewd ecchi scenes, but at the same time, also having a legitimately suspenseful and interesting plotline without making those aspects feel incompatible. I don't think I have ever seen such a smooth and natural way of merging serious and non-serious elements anywhere else where it actually succeeds on both fronts. I just applaud this manga, and I applaud the anime. Don't forget to lock your door when you watch this one. You might have some explaining to do otherwise. Alright, that's it for today. Don't forget to tell me your ranking in the comment section below.